Well, everyone, welcome back. So today we've got the Escalation Protocol apparel event, which should be going live in about 15 or so minutes. However, I wanted to focus on this, which has just gone live about 11 minutes ago, and it's a message from the Division 2 team about the XP exploit in the descent mode and what they're going to do to um, what they're going to do to the people that have used that exploit. So let's just go over this. I'll read through it with you guys and then give you my thoughts on it. So it says, Agents, we want to take a moment to address an important matter concerning the Descent game mode. We are aware that certain players have been exploiting a bug in the game that allowed players to join another player already in Descent through the Ubisoft Connect interface and gain unfair amounts of XP and shade levels. Now, just to intervene here, I'd heard about this, but I didn't know how it was done. We take these issues very seriously and are committed to maintaining a fair and enjoyable gaming environment for all players. Uh, we have thoroughly investigated the situation and identified individuals who have systematically used the exploits. As a result, we will be imposing appropriate sanctions on the players involved in accordance with our policies. First time offenders who have exploited the feature will receive a two week suspension starting immediately and will be unable to play Tom Clancy's Division 2 during this time. Furthermore, sanctioned players accounts will be flagged and any further offence will result in an increased suspension duration. Multiple offences will result in a permanent suspension. We'll also be taking action to roll back illegitimate players' progression. Sanctioned players' accounts will be rolled back, causing all account progress through the exploit to be reset. We believe it is crucial to ensure that everyone has an equal opportunity to succeed and compete on a level playing field. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. We are committed to upholding the spirit of the game and providing you with the best possible gaming experience. The Division 2 development team right so this is something that okay so my position on this is such if you exploit the game to gain an unfair advantage then what do you expect <laughs> i mean they've done this before the, the devs did this recently actually they, they banned people for uh, exploiting the game i think they banned people for the um was it the general anderson exploit the where you could get basically you could spawn the ads in loads and loads of times and get loads of XP really, really quickly. This is not new. So if you are exploiting this bug and getting banned, then I don't really think you can argue about it because you would have known that this was going to happen. So, you know, people might say, oh, you know, two weeks for a first-time offence is a bit much. Look, at the end of the day, you just shouldn't do it. Uh, and if you don't do it, then you don't have to worry about the repercussions because it won't affect you. Um, so the way I see it is, yeah, two weeks is a long time. But at the end of the day, if you don't break the rules, then you don't get a two-week suspension. So it doesn't really matter. In my opinion, it doesn't matter on this because I've not broken the rules. I've not exploited a bug. And if you have and you're going to get banned, well, that's your own fault. That's the way I see it at the end of the day. Um what I will say as well is that obviously there is this rollback, which is good. This this rollback is very much needed. Now, some people are going to say that the rollback would have been enough. I, I disagree. I don't think just having a rollback would be enough because at the end of the day, all that's going to happen is that this system that Massive are using, it's not going to be perfect. There's, there's guarantee you it's not going to be perfect. Some people are going to be banned that probably shouldn't have been, although that's unlikely. Some people will likely uh, not be rolled back when they should have been. Um, and so, I, yeah, in terms of the rollback, it had to happen. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't make sense to roll back people and then not uh, suspend them um, because they'll just go ahead and do it again next time when the next bug comes out. And I'm sure there's going to be another bug soon. Um, I don't know about bugs that are currently in the game that are, you know, for XP and stuff. I don't know what's in, in the game for that. Um, I, I think I've heard that there might be a PvP bug about something to do with XP. I could be wrong on that. But this was the big one, right? The Descent Mode one was the big one at that this time. There'll be more. And so when there are more, um, you know, this should decentivize people. Is that a word? Decentivize? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Uh, decentivize people from doing it again because they're ultimately just going to end up getting their account completely banned. And if that's, I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's entirely up to them. But I don't think it would be enough just to roll back people um, and leave it at that. Uh, I have seen comments that 
um, you know, uh, these bugs are fine because, you know, the game's a grind. Well, I'm sorry, but yeah, the game can be a bit of a grind, but it is what it is. That's the game. If you don't enjoy the grind, then don't play the game. You know, that's like going to play Diablo, uh, Diablo 4, and complaining about the grind to level, uh, level 100. And it's like, well, yes, it is a grind, but then that is the game the, the game is the grind the, the grind is about getting the best gear possible that is the whole game and if you don't like that grind you probably shouldn't play the game um and so that's kind of my position on uh on this um at the end of the day this uh this 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 exploit you know from what i know what massive have said is that if you un unwittingly did this exploit then they're not gonna you won't face any repercussions but this is going to be this is going to be people that know exactly what they're doing i've probably done it more than once um and in a very deliberate way now the the methods in which massive used to find out these people i don't know obviously they'll never share that i'm hoping that uh there isn't a case of banning players or suspending players and rollbacking players that have not done this exploit but i also think that there's no way of us ever knowing uh, massive are never going to reveal exactly how they do this stuff and even if people come out and say well I never did it I mean it's your word against theirs so there's never going to be ev enough evidence to prove either way um, I don't believe I mean obviously if there is if a player comes out and goes look here's the proof that I never you know I never did this then then sure massive should you know overturn that but we're not going to see that sort of stuff uh, I just don't think we are. We didn't see it the last time there were bans in place. I don't think we're going to see it for this one. Most people who are going to be rolled back and banned know exactly... All of the people, pretty much, are going to know exactly why. Okay? They didn't do this and then and then wonder why they've been suspended. That's just not going to happen. Um, and this is why I always say, if there are bugs, if there are exploits in the game, please don't do them. No matter how trivial they are, they could be the tiniest bug and exploit that really give you don't even give you much of an advantage at all just don't do them it's not worth it because uh it may be a case that you know you get banned um from from doing that stuff as you should for using exploits in the game um uh, that clearly are not meant to be exploited um and, and some people won't agree with me right some people will say wow you know this is this is mass's fault because it's their bug it's their issue and, and I understand that point of view, I do, I understand, but at the end of the day, you know, we're all adults, uh, well, most of us are adults, and you know what you're doing, right? You know exactly what you're doing. I mean, if you if you go to, I don't know, if you go to a concert, I mean, I, this is probably the worst analogy ever, if you go to a concert, right, and you don't have tickets, okay, but as you approach the doors, you notice a gap, which you can get through, and you can bypass security and you can get into the concert, right? And you do that, okay? Um, but then you're found out from security and you get pulled out of the concert. You can't then blame, you can't then blame them for not putting in place, you know, for allowing that person to go into the concert. You can't blame them. You can't blame the people that run that area. You can't say, well, it's your fault because, you know, you, you didn't, there wasn't enough security in place to stop me from going in there. No, it's your fault. You're an adult. You know, you you know you shouldn't be going in there. You haven't paid your ticket like everyone else has. You rightly so, you should be pulled out of that concert. And there should be no recourse for you. You know what you're doing. And and I think as a bad analogy, but I think that sort of stuff applies to, to this sort of thing, right? You know what you're doing, you're an adult, you take it on the chin, you know, you're messed up, and Unless you want to carry on doing this stuff and getting banned, then don't do it anymore. That's the way I see it. And of course, if it's PvP stuff, then yeah, it's, I think it's even it's, it's even more of a problem because you know it's it's um, you know you, you you're against other people. But I still think it applies to PVE because let's be honest, when it comes to someone like Descent or any of these kind of game modes, it depends what you consider uh, winning in this game. And everyone's got their own ideas of winning, but. Um, you know, if I want to be on top of the, if I want to be the, the highest shade level player in the game and I'm doing it legitimately and someone comes along and does this glitch or this exploit and gets there way before I can because of that, then it's affecting my experience um, as someone who's trying to get there legitimately. So 
that person should be reprimanded for, for doing that stuff what by using stuff in the game that they shouldn't be using that's my position hopefully you guys uh, agree with me i'm sure some of you won't agree with me i'm expecting some dislikes on this video not that you can see them but i can um i've not actually looked at the comments on this one here i'm just gonna have a quick look at stuff here um you know wow this is big stuff players were warned they have themselves to blame totally agree don't agree on the ban but pull the rollback disagree i agree on the ban as well um the game may be very buggy these days, but the devs are on the right side of HR compared to almost any other game these days. Probably now can you fix the rest of the game? I mean, yeah, sure. The game's got issues. There are bugs and stuff, but that doesn't mean you should you should use them to your advantage. I use and abuse this exploit because I can. Find me and catch me if you can. Uh, you know, people. some people are going to find this funny and they know exactly what they're doing. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately the most people would have probably agree that this is the right thing here. Um, wow, this is really a case of we spoke and, and you guys listened. Um, yeah, there we go. I think I think a lot of people agree that this is probably the right thing to do. It says, uh, let's hope they get this right. The last time they did this, they actually banned players who did not do an exploit. And that might be true, but I've not seen any, personally, I've not seen any evidence of that happening. And so unless that comes to light, um, I don't think we can make that statement unless this person does have that evidence. Then, yeah, of course, I can understand this. Um, this is what happens on console. I hope this is across all platforms. This happens on console as well. See, I don't even know how this is, how this would work on console, to be honest with you. Um, I don't even know how people find this. I've got to admit, I don't know how people find this stuff. But these kind of bugs and issues, they come up all the time. And I just don't know how people find this stuff. I remember the General Anderson one. I don't know how people find this stuff. I mean, it, it, I think people are actively going out of their way to find these issues. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, it says you're losing even more players. Well, yeah, okay. But I, I, I don't think Massive want pe cheaters in their game. So it's not a loss for them. It's certainly not a loss for, for, for me. Um, I don't want cheaters in this game. So yeah, so be it. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Hopefully the next video will be a bit, a bit brighter because we've got the Escalation Protocol event. Hopefully that, uh, that stuff looks pretty good. I'll probably do a bit of video on that. But until the next one, epic out.